Today we're eating Sloppy Joes, y'all. Let's go! And we're also drinking Stir Fate. Stir Fate? State <laughs> Fair. State Fair lemonade. That's mad that you've just noticed that. What makes it look up? Well, it's a secret thing that if you want to know what it is, you're going to gonna have to watch it. Yeah. and watch us eat food. Right. right, I've made it myself, but I've gone onto the internet and I found legit recipes. So you recipe. want to see it, I've done a behind the scenes episode. Have you ever wondered why the lemonade that you make at home doesn't taste quite like the state fair? lemonade that you used to get when you were a kid well this is the recipe apparently so we'll see what happens join the membership help the broskies out and come and watch how i've made it i'm pretty sure it's bang on legit i'm happy with them we've all got a lemonade Go. each yeah damn lemon, icy ice. lemon in you get me one each mate look at that for presentation made, let's the lemonade as well from scratch made the lemonade from scratch the same way apparently on this recipe the guy who i got it off said that in america you make your own lemonade it's not carbonated right but this particular recipe he said it's the difference between when you make it yourself at home and when you're a kid and you used to go to a, a state fair what we call what do we call them a fun fair no like a fate or oh, a summer fate like a summer fate and this is the difference is this that recipe. Where, okay. where people are throwing tennis balls at All coconuts that shit, on yeah. the coconut stands so we've got one shit. of them each which is buzzing because it's boiling hot today and we've also got a sloppy joey yes, that sloppy I've made. joes Hopefully they'll oh, still be geez. hot. Okay. So these the are the sloppy the seeded jets. Bun. The brioche seeded bun I've gone Wait, I'm for. I'm fucking starving. Should we well. have a swig of this traditional lemo? This is the sloppy joe. Wait. Okay. Right. So. Yeah. So you can guarantee that. Question sloppy is, joe. has Max made it right? Like what? I say, Hold go on. and see it if you want to see what? it. What? But all the oils coming through. That's all the flavors. It's a combination of letting that bubble through and then making sure the ingredients doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and you don't burn that. So every couple of minutes I'm going back to it, giving it a mix, letting it bubble through, letting all them flavors and the grease surface come to the top, let that bubble away, mix, repeat, repeat, repeat. You don't want to keep going at it and stir it the whole time. You want to let them flavors come through. Max, what the fuck do you know? What's it off that? Get your sloppy joe. Billy Madison. Billy Madison, yeah. Hansomar sloppy joes. <laughs> Do you want to try the lemo first? Yeah, try the whistles with some in it. Right, Damn let me just throw this out there now. I haven't tweaked it to my preference by adding more water or more sugar or anything like that. I've just followed the recipe. Right. Because I didn't want to taste that one. It'd be my first taste in front of the ER. I hope this is nice. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Whoa. Holy shit, though. What do you reckon? Is it got sugar in there? Mm-hmm. Because it's not oh, bitter, it's sweet. That is absolutely delicious. That is actually really uh Mate, refreshing. I'll be honest. Wow. When you said, I want to do traditional lemonade and it's not fizzy, I instantly thought of like robinson's lemon fruit squash and i just thought that's gonna be fucking shit then isn't that's it the mate that's better than carbonated schneid lemonade that you buy out of a bottle what, set up all a day long sell it on I the want... street, mm. this is one of them where i wish you could taste this so you know we're not bullshitting because oh it's got God. like a it, it's that sweet but not overpowering and it's got like it it tastes like it's thicker for some reason. There's a reason for that in the recipe. Really? In the recipe, it makes it thicker. That's mad that you've just noticed that. What makes it thicker? Well, it's a secret thing that if you want to know what it is, you're going to have to watch it. But <laughs> you better get on the it's behind It's a little scenes. secret thing, and it's the difference between people making it at home, and it, it gives it that thickness, it like the sort of gloopiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels it like in your mouth. Mm. You know what would be nice with this? Delicious. That's refreshing as fuck. Oh. And it doesn't make you go... <laughs> What else is good with you? Especially you who with a little rum. What's rum? You don't know what rum is. Well, but steel skin? 
And what I had to do, I don't know if you know about this, anyone from America who makes this stuff, but after I made it, because it was hot, I'm talking to you, the pan and all sorts, yeah. I made it last night and I left it refrigerated overnight last night. Yeah, it's cold as fuck. So that when I put the ice in it to the top and then I put that and it didn't melt the ice, yeah. it just made it even colder. So the ice stays yeah, solid. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone, I'm gone to town. Right. Yeah. Get I need these. to know that uh, ingredient. Get get sloppy. What is a sloppy Couldn't joke? get you. Sloppy Joe. Right, so basically, first time I ever heard of Sloppy Joe was off of Billy, Billy Madison. Madison. Uh, if you haven't seen Billy Madison, I suggest you go and watch it. One of the best Adam Sandler films ever made. Fucking hilarious. On that film, you go, go and get your Sloppy Joes. And then I was watching, like, my uh, YouTube algorithm now is just packed with loads of American stuff and where we've been doing American or not. And it came up with, like, 20 recipes that went extinct in the 80s like no one ever makes anymore that's really? what the youtube video was called i'm not saying that you used to do this and it made me think you know what why not make a sloppy joe and then do the lemonade and bang it in an episode so what this is traditional vintage sloppy so joe. it's not just mint meat fries what's on it i'm fucking it? starving y'all so this is the actual sloppy joe powder mix packet that i've got okay. and put it on this and then i've also got some american <laughs> mustard in the mix as well it right. sweetens it up let's okay. have a bite and tell us Let's touch tips then. Touch tips Mate, he's this. got he's toasted the bun. I've, I've toasted Sesame the bun. Sesame seed feels soft. In fact, it feels perfect the bun. <laughs> Let's tips. go touch tips. Mmm. I tasted like I didn't taste mustard. No, but it, I had a feeling of mustard. There's not a lot of mustard in there. It's just to give it the little when it was all cooking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? Talk to me. What are you experiencing? The texture is more palatable than a burger. As in, you know, on White Castle where they're like, oh, I want 40 of those little sliders. I want 30 sliders, five French fries and four large cherry Cokes. I want the same except make mine diet Cokes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Harold and Kumar get the munchies. You like mate, that's impossible, but this feels like you could eat yeah, you a could, few of them. I could eat a good five of these. What you reckon? Looking mate, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I was scared it was gonna be like spaghetti bolognese. Mm. But spaghetti bolognese is rich, isn't it? Yeah, this yeah. is more like sweet. This the whole thing is a summer package. Yeah. Let me have a go with the lemo with the sloppy joe. Oh yeah, get some that lemo, yo. Should have made two each. In it. I Isn't could, it you fucking I could mince right bag. Now. Some left in the pan as well. It's like, what is it? It's like mint Wow. Mint meat. So basically, I mean, go and watch the recipe, but it is, it's uh, extra lean mince meat, because that's, this is the recipe I followed. Green bell pepper, onion, garlic, like fresh garlic. But it's all the process. You start off with a really, uh, a cold pan, and you put the onions and the mince meat, and you just warm it up slowly and gradually to give it that well, mince it. meat. You've done a swell job. Charlie, after would you rather? We have to get a would you rather in quick time. Is it sloppy or is it dry it's or what? It's sloppy, Joe. Not too sloppy. Right, okay. This is a nice little light-hearted one for Quickly, you. that's what the guy said. He said, you want it sloppy? Hold on. God oh! damn. God damn. But you don't want it falling out sort of thing. You want the bread to hold it. Right. I toasted the brioche seeded bun. Mate, it's, it's delicious. The whole combo. Yeah, and I've always had the... Fucker. Would you rather, and this is for six months you've got to do this, have mm. to go surfing every day in the sea for one hour, yeah? Or you have to go skateboarding at the local skate park for two hours. Fuck. For hell. six months every day you've got to do this. Mm. First of all, what sea is it in? Is it shark infested waters? Just down our beach. Or do I get a wetsuit? Yep. Your local so, sea. Or your local sea. Right, but picture this. We only live, I live literally facing the sea, but we all live within a close proximity. The beach is two minutes away. So the reason I'm saying an hour surfboarding nah. is because all the schlepping around, Dude. getting piss wet through. Mate. Getting and sandy then, yeah. every day and sand yeah, 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 yeah. sand in your shoes. No fucking oh, you know. <laughs> By the time you've got your surfboard to the beach, down the cliff. That's your one hour got done. Your wetsuit, that's a 20 minute getting that on and off my fat ass. And then you've got a go into the sea salt water all over you come back out and it's freezing you said six months so either way you're gonna be diving into a bit of cold water and then get out the sand all over your surfboard you gotta rinse that down rinse your wet now nah, fuck off when you put your wetsuit on the next day it's still wet from yeah. yesterday 
You'd, have, six you'd have to have two Get me to the skate one park. On one. Yeah, you, you say that. Skate park, <laughs> and there's a bunch of 16 year old lads on BMXs just calling you a wanker. And it, like, who's this nonce? Check this dickhead. Be <laughs> Who's the creep? Mm. <laughs> who's the creep? And you're going to have to have knee pads on and stuff because it's going to wreck, yeah, yeah. mate, if you fall off. Ah! Ah! Oh. If you fall off, which you're most likely going to get an injury from that, A, you yeah. lost work, we're, we're in physical jobs, so if I break my arm on a fucking skateboard, I'm done two hours a day, and also our local skate park ain't that local, so you've probably got to drive 20 minutes, get to the skate park, and then you're just like, mate... And I've just done a long day at work. I don't want a fucking skateboard, but you have yeah, to but the thing is, for you, you could With the skateboard, you could just stop at the skate park on the way back from work with surfing. Hey, what are you going to do? There, yeah, but I... You have two fucking hours. Yeah, but what I'm saying, you haven't got to come home, yeah, grab your wetsuit. Yeah, you haven't your tea either, so you've stopped. All of a sudden, you're getting lightheaded and shaky. I would probably just make friends is, with you... the stoners and stay at longer than I even <laughs> should do. You There's could take your skateboard to work. You couldn't take your surfboard to work. So therefore you could stop at the skate park on the way home. Delicious. Whereas if you had to fucking go on a surfboard, you'd have to literally go back home, get your wetsuit from the garage that's sandy and wet from the day before. Then you would have to fucking make your way there. Mate, it's too fucking much. Is However, my question is, what would you rather be better at in real life? Skateboarding or surfing? Because by the end of your stretch, you're going to be good at one of them. Surfing I'm too sketchy. old for both of them. Surfing sketchy as <clears throat> fuck. Like, yeah. Yeah. It this way. Waves. Yeah, it would be scratchy, but a summer's day, if you've got that six months and it's summer and it's warm and you're just out That'd paddling be amazing. and you've only got an hour, I bet that hour goes pretty quick. What about, could I two go... hours every day of skateboarding, wouldn't that wouldn't go quick. Could I go and try and speak to someone who owns like one of the beach huts near the bottom of the cliff and try and work out a plan you so can that do I could... the fuck you want. If you I could... got to go surfing for one hour in if the I, sea. If I could make a little deal with someone where it's like, mate, let me rent your shit out for 20 quid a week or whatever where I can just leave me surfboard and me wetsuit in your beach hut and give me a, a spare ah, key I cut. See, I see. I'd probably do that because then I could just go straight there after work and it'd probably be refreshing. And once you're in, you know what I mean? And you don't necessarily have to keep catching the waves. You can just sit and paddle and ponder. Nah, mm. nah, nah. You've got to try and catch the waves. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you'd you catch one and or your two. would stink like <laughs> asshole in seaweed. Now, do you know what, actually? How long for six months? Yeah. yeah. Or skateboarding for two years? No, no. Skateboarding is six months as well. But two hours. Two away, hours a day. Uh, do you know what? It's only six months I'll go surfing. Fuck it. Fuck skate. I've done the skateboard in my life. <laughs> Shit. Why are we acting like we didn't try it about fucking three years ago? Yeah, I know. Like, I'm just saying about how, how it all impedes you on your life. I've spent Mate, I'd probably get right into skateboarding <laughs> to the point where it's like, fuck that, I'm going for an extra six months. <laughs> what do you do? Ah, <laughs> oh, like you say, I couldn't handle the sand getting in, the sand all over me gaff. The thing is, you'd have to socialise every single day mm. if you were skateboarding Unless with people you, you don't know. Not necessarily. Know. Whereas yeah, with surfing, you got the whole ocean, you can find your own little speck, you Even don't have to then, talk to no one. you'll bump into some... And, <laughs> and the thing is, the hour, would, <laughs> the hour would be up before you know it, you would start, you would catch few waves you'd feel refreshed and then you'd be like right all right i've got to take this piece of shit wetsuit off but so what right, and then I'd, you're home i'd be escape i'd skateboard surfing skateboards ah oh, skateboarding right let's fucking skateboard. sum up this sloppy joe's let's rate it mate hey i wanted two of them what I'm fucking starving. Could you have had two of them? I could have, could have five. had five of those. Mate, I feel like that Sloppy Joe uh, recipe has just entered my recipe book and I'll be eating that quite How regularly. Many, leave it in the comments. How many <clears> Sloppy <throat> Joes do you, uh, are you, do you usually eat? Like, is it, do you just have two and then it's like, you're a pig if you go any further? Or are you meant to have about four or five? Because do you know what you want to do? You want to get them pack of bread rolls where they're all stuck together and you can cut them right down the middle and load it with the Sloppy Joe. Yeah, yeah. And then put it back on and then just... Or do, uh, a like do like a baguette with the Sloppy Joe mix on. Done. Mate, but you what, what do what Sloppy I do... Joe with pieces of actual steak. The thing in. is, what I didn't want to do then, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to make like loads of it with like bread rolls that you weren't going to like. I wanted to get... The I wanted OG. to make it properly. That roll, I, I noticed everyone uses seeded buns, but I like brioche buns. And when I seen the cross-contamination of the seeded brioche, I was like, you're the one. All right, they're a bit smaller than I would have liked, but it is what it is. Toasted the fuckers. Go and watch how I made them. Hold Trust on, me, you want to notice. 
when it when it comes to rating, yeah, you've got to think we've had some shit burgers and stuff like that, and we've rated them and been like, oh, that's you know a six or whatever or five. That if I got a, if I went to a place and I got like three of those, if it was like you know like sliders where you got like three and a yeah, portion yeah, yeah, of yeah, chips, yeah, 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 and it was them, I would highly rate that yeah. shit. Yeah, me you too. know what I mean? Fucking yeah. right, they were mate. Fucking delicious. Especially if you could put like jalapenos on or. Well, this is the thing with the recipe. You can tweak you it how you want. Yeah, exactly. Like, that I was just, just the OG. That was the OG. I'll, I'll give that whole ordeal the lemonade as well. Mate, that drink so refreshing. I'd give it I want a big jug. I'd like Joey said, mm -hmm. get some uh, gin with that, mate. Fucking hell, that's in a the good, summer. good day. Get up. That is so mm. fucking refreshing. I can't even put it into words. Like, I was concerned it was going to be bitter. That makes your eyes go. Yeah, yeah me yeah, too. It I heard lemon and I just thought, no thanks. Do you Do know what I'll to, give it? Let Tissue Boy give this. Sorry. <laughs> what did you, what did you, ex, what was your experience? Tell us your experience quick. I don't really like lemon drinks. I would never get one. So again, I was thinking, nah. But that was very refreshing. It was nice. Like Charlie said, it, it's quite thick in your mouth. Yeah, it wasn't reason. sharp at the back of your no. throat, which lemon and yeah, lime it and goes citrus down smooth. shit does. I mm. usually associate this with medicine, kind of. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's how it smelled when I was but making it. Wasn't, it wasn't. And then as for the sloppy joe, that's perfect textures. It was delicious. The, the, yeah. They're just delicious. Then. I'm going to say right now, 8.8. .8 for the combo. overall overall I'll, I'll give it the 8.8 .8, you know? yeah yeah what are you saying I did because say what's wrong with it yeah. nothing it's not enough that's the problem so you I'll have 8.8 you, you know 8.8 8 .8 8 .8 8 .8 8 .8 let us know uh, in the comments what you guys think. Do you still mm. eat sloppy joes? Is it a thing of the past? Do you still do the uh, the fate stare stare fate fair? <laughs> Fucking state fair. And also remember, we're trying to get over Love to it. America. We're going to America. If you can help us reach 100,000 subscribers, Rago Bloom are gonna jump in a plane, head over to America, rent a Winnebago, and travel around the country in all the food that we can get our grubby little hands on. All you have to do is click that subscribe button. Let's go! If you wanna see us do more of these videos, then like it and share it and subscribe, cause it's getting pretty fucking expensive. We need to get monetized Cause it's getting pretty fucking expensive We can't afford loaded fries Like it and share it and subscribe